warm pudding with brandy sauce. Definitely one of my favourite Chrissy desserts. But you don't have to wait until the end of the year because I found a place where it's Christmas all year round. Yum. Regional Victoria is known for its gourmet produce and Castle Maine is where you'll find a pud for all seasons. Apricot, almond and coconut. Brandied peach and cinnamon. Honey and macadamia. Coffee date and pecan. In 2003, Karen Kelly was selling her puds at a local Christmas market. Now it's a thriving business. And I went and did the stall in November and it happened to be freezing and hailing and I thought, what am I doing here with my baby and my husband? And it was just, just awful. Did you have the baby in the pram, one and hand and rocking? On the lap. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I said, no, not doing that again. We'll just do them for home and that's that. So how many puddings are we going to make with this batch? This will give us about 26, 28 puddings, depending on the flavour. Right. This, this flavour we're making is uh, double chocolate and orange with Cointreau. Yum. Obviously, Karen didn't give up. Her second stall was a triumph. They sold out within the first hour and we took orders for over 100 more. And I thought, oh, this was all right then. Karen now churns out a staggering 400 a week. And over the Christmas period, 300 a day. That's a tasty bottom line. So how did you come up with the new recipes? Like, what makes you think, hmm? Chocolate and orange. <laughs> uh, I love chocolate and orange yeah. together. All right. And when I first thought, I thought, oh, I probably won't work with the dried fruit, but it does, as you'll get to taste later. Remember when they used to put the money in them? I Christmas still do time, for my do own yeah. yeah. I've still got my grandmother's thrippences and sixpences that she used to put in. Fantastic. And then um, we cash them in at the end. And the kids just want more and more pudding just so they can get the money. <laughs> Experimenting with flavours is the fun part, but owning your own business isn't always easy. Was there ever a time when you thought, oh, this is too much? Um, yeah, probably a couple of times. It always gets very quiet through the year. It's very seasonal, even though we try to convince people that winter's the best time to eat pudding, it's still very seasonal and Christmas is just hectic. Right. So now we get to try the fruit of our hard cooking. You do. I can see the chunks of chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Big mouthful. Mm -hmm. It's got that Christmassy kind of flavour to it as well, but the chocolate's beautiful. Mmm. To keep cash flow up through all the seasons, Karen came up with these little delights called pebbles. A put for all seasons is now a national success but hard work has been the chief ingredient. We started off selling them through farmers markets and food and wine festivals, even a few craft markets. Mm -hmm. Now we're national, we sell through gourmet delis in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and wow. South Australia. We have a little van and we do local deliveries ourselves. Right now, Karen's developing a brand new pebble. It's top secret, but my highly developed palate is working overtime. Mm. You can really taste the orange, can't you? Mm. I love the crunch. They're that new that we don't have a name for them yet. I would call them... <laughs> petite, petite <laughs> perfection pebble. Say that in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just keep eating. It's beautiful. <laughs> 